and yet nothing is as I remember. Objects once familiar and comforting now fill me with uncertainty and dread. What has happened here?
I should be resting now, recovering from my time away, or sitting with father. Instead, I'm forced to run and hide, sneaking about like a common thief, hunted in my own city. Oh. Is this where I should resume the tale next time? Pay attention to what the prince overheard as he drew close to where I was being kept. Shall I continue my story from here if you are called away? Oh. 
Many years ago, I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the island of time, intending to claim its secrets. What we discovered was a barren, ruined place. Its halls deserted, and its gardens were hand. Strange tales adorned its walls, which spoke of an empress. An empress of time. But of this enigmatic creature, there was no trace. We returned to India with treasure nonetheless. A staff, a dagger, an empty hourglass covered in jewels, and books. Such secrets they contained. For even then I was an older man and knew that my time would soon be at an end. The books showed me that life eternal was not beyond my reach, but it required the essence of the Empress herself, the power of the sand. But you were gone. They were gone. Or so I thought. I turned my attention towards other pursuits and left that dream behind. But then, four weeks ago, the dagger stirred and showed me things. Whispered to me in my sleep. It drew me here, towards Babylon. Alas, the Maharaja did not share my vision, would not grant me leave. So I slew him and claimed his kingdom, his army for my own. Nothing would stand between me and my desire. Recklessly, the prince drew his weapon and charged forward, intending to rescue me. It was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. Or perhaps he'd simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. Father, forgive what I have done, wherever you are. Run for your lives! Is this where I should resume the tale next time?
Should I continue from here? I will continue my story from here next time. Once more the wheels of suffering are set in motion by my hand. In taking Kylina from the island of time, I have changed the course of history. Without the sands of time, I never journeyed to Azad, never killed the Vizier. Now he lives again, driven by the same mad desire. I promised no harm would come to her. Is this where I should resume the tale next time? I am being pushed deeper into the palace, and further from my enemy. My arm! What's happening? What has the Vizier done to me? I don't... Oh! Everything had come full circle. The Prince had resurrected his greatest enemy. Worse, he had accidentally delivered me into the man's hands, unleashing a nightmare plague across Babylon. As if this was not enough, the Prince had nearly been transformed by the Sands himself. Though he had avoided death, he had not escaped entirely untouched. Wake up, Prince. Wake up. Wake up. The way behind you is gone, so you will have to find another exit from these sewers. Shall I continue my story from here if you are called Be away? Be quick about it. Start moving. What? Who's there? Be careful. The planks are slick. Mind your balance. Oh. 
They do not seem to like the light. Excellent work!
could become? A sand monster? Call it what you will, Prince. But you have been given the ability to destroy your enemies. Now use it. What benefit is this? Even as I fight them, I grow weaker. Kill them then, let their minds replenish yours. Lead them into the light! Strike while they are blind! I assume this is not permanent? It is, if you want it to be. I do not. But you will. Why then is this happening to me? You have been infected by the sands of time, as I am sure you have noticed. Maybe it's the dagger, maybe it's all the time you've spent amongst the sands. Or amongst the Empress. Either way, you are resisting it. Mostly. Mostly? You did just transform into something rather unique, so I think the word is quite appropriate. Think of it this way. You have been given a gift. You're stronger, faster, uglier. Now, now. That explains the transformation. But who are you? Have you not realized? I am your untapped potential, your unrealized dreams. I am part of you. You... you inside me? Gone now. Water seems to fight this corruption. Why did you hide this from me? What? And ruin all the fun?
Is this where I should resume the tale next time? Ali Kavali, would you be my